Hey guys, how's it going? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rides. And today I am here at Walker Ford because they have stood up to the plate because my inbox has been blowing up with people wanting a review of an SUV. So I figured if I'm going to make those people happy that wanted the SUV, hopefully you're one of them watching me now, I figured I'm going to go all out. And thanks to Walker Ford stepping up to the plate, I have this brand new 2018 Ford Expedition. What's special about this SUV is not that it's full size, it's that it's a totally all new SUV from the bottom up to the top Expedition from Ford. Let me go ahead and give you a quick history lesson about the Ford Expedition and SUVs from Ford. If you go back to the 60s, it was all about the Ford Bronco. Ford Bronco was a mainstay in the stables at Ford for so many years. Then there was that whole O.J. Simpson thing and the white Ford Bronco. And then because of political things, Ford got rid of the Bronco. Stay tuned, by the way, because guess what? In a couple of years, the Bronco is coming back and you will see it first here on Rady's Rides. Anyways, fast forward to 1997. That was the big debut of the Ford Expedition. And I'm telling you right now, if that 1997 Expedition knew what it eventually would become to this vehicle, nobody would believe it. This thing has more technology than probably some of your apartments or homes that you're watching this video in right now. Let's go ahead and take a look of what the engineers at Ford did. I love the front end of this Expedition. From the bottom to the top, they went with a whole new grill. I really like how they went classy with LED lights. It's a nice classy look, but it's also showing the technology at Ford. I love the bumper. Behind the grill and the bumper are active shutters. So when you're driving at highway speeds, those shutters are gonna close because you don't need as much air hitting that radiator and it's gonna give you better fuel economy. Same thing with the design of this whole front end. The reason why it looks the way it does is to get better aerodynamics. Underneath this hood, I'm going to show you in a little bit, is that 3.5 EcoBoost engine. It's putting out 375 horsepower. Here's the kicker, guys. It gets 17 miles to the gallon. That's unheard of in a full SUV market. Like I said, at the end of the day, I really, really love the front end of this car. I love the Ford emblem here. Not many vehicles this kind of size, this kind of presence that could pull off this emblem. Check out down here. We have these awesome hooks now remember this is on the same steel chassis as the ford f-150 that's going to give you a wonderful steel frame it also has aluminum bodywork for the first time that's going to shave over 300 pounds of weight what's really awesome is that with these types of hooks with all some of the other features i'm going to show you this thing is fully off-road capable you could take it off-roading you could take it to the grocery store you could take it to the soccer game you could do everything with this car another thing i want to point out is this one has the special platinum white metallic paint i'm really liking this paint if it was a little bit sunnier this paint would pop because i'm telling you there's so much metallic in it it's like off of a bowling ball let's go ahead and take a look at the side of this now the way that expeditions work now is you have the XLT, that's where you come in, you have the Limited, this one is a Limited, and you have the Platinum. Now the Limited, this one here, has all-wheel drive, and it's called the Limited Max. What that means is, is you're gonna get some maximum extra size. This particular expedition, since it is a Max, is over one feet longer, and it also has almost 17 cubic feet of space in the back more so than your standard length expedition and like i said you could get the max in the xlt the limited and the platinum now if you like horsepower numbers and you like all the extra fine touches the platinum where is where it's going to be at for you because not only you're going to get all the fine leather and all the appointments inside underneath that hood of the, of the platinum you're going to get 400 horsepower that's almost as much as the ford raptor which has the same motor, twin turbocharged V6, 3.5 liters. Check out the side of this, this SUV. I really, really like the lines. It, it's tidy though, it's not obnoxious. It's a, it's a great size for a full SUV. If I could have Tom come on down here and show you these wonderful machine finished 20 inch wheels. These are optional wheels. I really like the style of them. It really gives it a bit of class. But like I said, you got plenty of meat here on these tires to where you could go off-roading and not have to worry about damaging these beautiful gems. 
if Tom really could show you what his skills, sneaking behind that inner uh, fender liner, you could see one of the turbos. Twin turbocharged, 375 horsepower. This thing can tow 9,000 pounds. That is a class maximum. You could go to Chevy and go get a Tahoe or a Suburban. This thing is going to outperform it on the street, off-road, and when it comes to towing capabilities. Let's go ahead and take a look down the rest of the side. I like the way they have the A pillar, the B pillar, and the C and D pillar. If you look with the B pillar here, they blacked it out. It gives it a nice finished look. I want to show you something that I know some other SUVs have, but I really like the way Ford did it because it's totally hidden. You want to get in the car? The running boards right here drop down, and I'm telling you, they're nice and sturdy for even me. So when you're done, in a few seconds, you'll see that they'll actually pull back into the bodywork. And what's nice about that is, is that if you do go over a big bump or go off-road, you're not going to damage them because they're nice and tucked and tidy. I love the lines. This line that they put, this crease in the door that follows all the way back. Remember, the max, it's almost an extra foot longer. It goes all the way to the tail. I'm liking that. Another feature I love about this is I love this glass window. It's a nice size. It brings extra light in. Plus, they finished it off with that same black. The same black here on the B pillar. They put it back here. And what it does is it gives it a nice continuous look. If you look up top, this one comes with the optional roof rack. I like that. I'm a big kayaking guy. You could put the kayaks up there, no problem. One, two, three. And then if Tom wants to come around to the back, I want to show you some of the goodies back here. So this has, of course, a power lift gate. Now you could use the fob like I just did, but it also has the center underneath to open and close it. Another thing that I really like is I like what Ford was doing back here. Now, if you look at the back of this Expedition, you might say, what's the big deal? It looks like the back of any other SUV. Check out some of the fine details. This plastic piece right here that's built in, this is going to stop those cans, the water jugs, the two liter bottles of soda. If they're out rolling around back here, you open up the tailgate on other SUVs, it's going to roll on out. And then you're going to be chasing them around the block. Everything will stay inside. Here's another couple little niceties. Check out all the storage. You know, you have some kids, you have a family, you got to put the thing somewhere. You have nice storage here. Check this out. This is probably one of my favorite things back here. I don't know if you tailgate. I don't know if you have to go to your kid's soccer game or whatnot, but check this out. You actually have a table back here for tailgating. I mean, it's stuff like that, that you know the engineers at Ford, they're family people, and you know that they're thinking about you guys that have kids and like to go to football games and whatnot. And it's easy. One, two, three, you just store it right back. Here's another thing I like. If you were shorter, you'd probably have a hard time pushing these seats flat. What you could do here is right on the side, they have them labeled nicely. You want to put down the third row. You press this button. There's your left side. And there goes your right side. And you could stop it at any time. You can make them come back up. So there goes the right. And watch, you'll see the headrest folds down. And if I put down the left one again, and as you can see, it gives you lots of room. There's these wonderful tie-down hooks. You could strap down whatever you need. And then, obviously, you could put down every single one of them. So you have a ton of space here. You're going to the store. You're getting lumber. You're getting supplies. You're buying furniture. You put it right in here so easily. Another thing I want to point out before I show you underneath the hood, there's even storage compartments back here. I'm telling you, this car should come with some type of treasure map because there's so many storage spaces for you to hide things and put things. There's USB ports back here for the third rows. It's, it's really, really nice that Ford took care of every single person in your family. From the kids to the passengers up front, everybody is gonna be riding so nicely in this car. I don't know about you, but I wanna show you what's lurking underneath the hood of this expedition. Let's go check it out. All right guys, so here it is, the heart of this beast. This is a 3.5 liter EcoBoost. Now EcoBoost 
Whenever you hear that with a Ford Association, that's going to be a turbocharged motor. This one is twin turbocharged, 3.5 liter, 375 horsepower, and you're still getting 17 miles of the gallon. I really like what Ford did with the appearance of the engine. I like the way it's sitting low in the chassis and further back. That's going to help with the handling. That's going to help with the balance of this vehicle. It is a large vehicle, so they're going to do whatever they can, can do underneath this hood with the engine placement to make the driving experience more pleasurable and easier for you. But I don't know about you. This thing is about the engine, but I really think where it's at is inside this expedition. Let's go ahead and check it out. All right, guys, we're inside this 2018 Ford Expedition. Before I go any further, I have to tell you a little story. You know, I'm the oldest of six kids, and growing up in the 80s, my Italian mother did not have anything like this because it wasn't available. I remember being cramped in that nine-passenger uh, Buick Grand Estate wagon with the wood grain on the side, nothing to do bored out of your mind. I remember my brothers and sisters, we used to fight over who was going to sit in the last row because that row was turned around and facing the oncoming traffic. Today, the kids have it so good. And so does mom and dad and whoever else is sitting up front here. This really is a lap of luxury. Ford has gone off the charts with the amenities the fit and finish, and just the wonderful touches. I like the way everywhere you touch with your hand, all those places you're going to put your arms, the hands on your steering wheel, everything is exactly where it needs to be. And I love the soft touches, this nice leather. Look inside this center console. My college dorm room was not as big as what you could store inside here. It is on, and this is just one compartment. This thing has, like I told you, it needs to come with a treasure map because there's so many compartments. I wanna show you something that's new to the Ford Expedition. This in here is where you're gonna put your cell phone. You know why you're gonna put your cell phone in there? That is a wireless battery station charging. So you could actually charge the battery in your phone wirelessly. Are more cars gonna come out with this? I'm sure hoping so, because who wants a bunch of wires all over the place? Besides the wireless pad in here, you also have two USB ports, plus you have a 12 volt right underneath here, Everybody is taken care of in this car. Check this out in the center console. You know, at first when they came out with these um, dial rotary uh, shifters, I was a little skeptical about it. I thought it was a little cheap. I'm telling you, it's cleaned up the whole look of the car. It's, it's proven me wrong. You know, back in the day, the shifter used to be up here on the column. Then it came down here. By having the rotary dial, it's nice and clean. This is a special transmission. It's a 10-speed transmission that was actually designed between Ford and General Motors. How crazy is that? Two rivals coming up with an amazing transmission. You'll see in a little bit when we take this out on the road, the shifts are effortless and it's not like you could feel all these different gears you're going through. But as you can see, everywhere that you look, there is space for whatever you have or things that maybe you'll get down the road. It is simply mind-blowing. I really like the way the driver and passenger has heated and air-conditioned seats. You'll see in a second in the back, they're going to get the same amenities. You have dual climate. You have this wonderful leather on the sides here. You have another dual cup holder with LED lighting. I'm telling you, Ford has thrown everything, including the kitchen sink, at this vehicle. Also, this one comes with navigation. You have a nice eight inch screen. Remember, that's how you measure a screen. It's always from corner to corner, eight inches. Watch when I turn this car on. It is really just an array of lights, things starting up. If you look here, when you go for navigation, I really like the sync system in the Fords. It's a nice, easy to use system. Um, you could get to your phone very easily, back to the navigation. I have this same setup in my Ford Focus RS, and it's a wonderful uh, thing to do. That, Like I said, here's the air-conditioned seats. You could adjust how much air you hit have hitting them. You have the dual climate. I could set for Tom. I know he likes it a little bit warmer over there. I like it a little bit colder. It's really just a wonderful setup that 
yeah, there's buttons, but I like the buttons. You know, a lot of cars are going to only touch screen for air conditioning and everything else. And it's kind of annoying because there's a delay. With this setup, there's no delay and I really, really like it. Let me show you another feature that's really cool. Check this out. If you have kids and you wanna see what they're doing back there, there's actually this little mirror that you don't have to turn around to yell at them. You could see them right here in this little mirror. It's a wonderful touch. And it's just stuff like this that makes me smile because like I said, I've come from a family of six kids. I know what it's like to be driving a vehicle with a bunch of screaming kids in it. And it's nice to have these extra touches for mom, dad, and whoever else is behind the wheel. I don't know if Tom can show you the dash here, but I really like what Ford's doing. It's the same kind of setup as the Raptor. You have analog speedometer and tachometer for your RPMs. And then they went digital for your oil coolant, your water temp, your fuel, and everything else. So it's, it's a really, really nice setup to have some digital touches, but also have the analog as well. Let me also show you the drive modes that we have, this being a limited all-wheel drive, so you could put it into that four-wheel drive automatic. It lights up on the dash to let you know that you're in that mode. And it has, if you look, if Tom could go back to the dash here, you could see how you have eco, you have sport, you have towing. This has the special tow pack package on it where you could actually back up the vehicle with the knob here rather than the steering wheel. It makes life a lot easier when getting that boat hitched up, that trailer hitched up, whatever you're trying to hook up to the back, it makes it so much easier to utilize this than to do it the good old fashioned way. And that's what I like about it. It's like, yeah, you could do it yourself, but you have the nice touches. This thing has lane assist. It has uh, perimeter sensing. It has every feature that you want, even stuff like this. I love what Ford has done. You're probably looking at this and you're saying, what is he pointing at? This, you could actually program for your garage door. Instead of having it over here, we put it right here on the visor, same color, and it blends in so nicely. I guarantee if I didn't point it out, you probably wouldn't have even noticed. Now, before we take this on a ride, because this is the Max, the Limited Max Expedition, we're actually going to break this down to two segments. Tom and I are going to get into the back seat and show you some of the crazy things that are going on back there. Let's check it out. All right, guys, check it out. This is the first review that I'm doing where I'm actually in the back seat. And the reason why I'm in the back seat, actually the middle seat, uh, to be specific, is because there's a lot going on back here. Like I was telling you about my mom's station wagon, we had nothing to keep us occupied. We were supposed to stare out the window and shut our mouths. That's what my father used to tell us. The kids today, check it out. You have rear passenger air conditioning, the same heated seats as up front. I love the way they have the USBs, two of them right there. Also, let's say you have a laptop or a DVD player or something like that that the kids are watching uh, a movie on. You could plug it in right here. Clock, radio, the whole nine yards, and two nice cup holders. Another thing that I really like is the engineers, they knew that people are going to be climbing in and out. Kids love to climb on things. They have these wonderful uh, grips here to pull in and out of the vehicle. I also like the way they have the rear air coming from the ceiling. So not only is it coming from the front, but then you could adjust it to hit you right here in the face. The leather, I'm six feet tall. I weigh 200 pounds. You could see I am not cramped in the back of this car, but I'm gonna show you something even more amazing. If you think this middle row is something, let me show you the third row because I'm telling you, if you look at the Tahoe, if you look at the Suburban, if you're in the imports, the only other ones that might compete with this would be a Nissan Armada or a Toyota Sequoia. Here's something that they don't have, and that's going to be easy accessibility of that last row. Plus, you could put an adult there. You don't have to be a kid. Check it out. So time to get out. You got your handle. You got the running board. You step down. Watch this. You see this? This is my finger. You push the button. The seat pops up. And now you're going to get on in. And look, you hold on to your handle. Look at it. I mean, I am six feet tall, and I am sitting in the third row of an SUV. You want to know what Ford's trick is? There's no magic, but there's a trick here. This SUV expedition has a independent rear suspension. What that allows the engineers on the inside to do is to have the floor lower. If you notice, my legs are nice and bent. I have lots of elbow room and shoulder room. So it's really, really nice. And I'm telling you, you could fit three adults back here. It'd be a little tight, 
but it'd be comfortable. Two adults, no problem. So if you like taking the guys out for guys' night or the ladies out for ladies' night, they're all going to want to ride in this car. Check out this. When it comes to USBs, you have USBs here right on the side. You have another one over there for the other passengers, so you can plug it in right here. You got your device. One last thing I want to point out before we take this bad boy for a ride, this has wireless Wi-Fi on it. You could actually have 10 different devices running at one time. I know, I've been over some people's homes where you can't even have 10 devices. Another thing is 50 feet away. You could be 50 feet away from the vehicle and still have your Wi-Fi connection on your device. You know the kids and everybody else has their iPads, their phones, their this, their that. Ford has got you covered. And I'm really so far, I'm not an SUV guy. People that know me know I'm not an SUV guy. I'm loving this SUV. If I could just point out one bad thing, I would say back here, when it comes to the touches, it's a little plasticky. Now, I get it. Mostly kids are going to probably be sitting back here. and Maybe they're going to be rough and tough on it. But it is a little bit of the harder plastic where in the middle row and definitely in the front end of the business, it has the nicer touches, that nicer leather. But it does have the wonderful leather seats. Some companies cheap out on these back seats. These are full perforated leather seats, just like you're getting in the middle and just like you're getting in the front. You got rear air back here. It's a wonderful feeling to be sitting in here. I don't know about you, but I'm ready to take this out on the road. Let's go check it out. All right, guys. So we're leaving Walker Ford. And I'm telling you, in this car, I know my camera guy, guy Tom, and Tracy from Walker Ford were kind of busting my chops a little bit. This is my first time driving a full SUV, and I kind of was taking the turns a little wide. Now that I'm driving down the road, there's no reason to fear this car. It really has a nice presence, but when you're steering it and you're going around the turns, you don't have to worry about taking them real tight. You can keep everything tidy because the engineers with that independent rear suspension, with the way that everything is laid out, the nice steering geometry, it's a pleasure to drive. Even my little Italian mother, back then in the 80s with six kids, would have a thrill driving this rather than that big old station wagon. But this is the things I've been telling you about that Ford is just knocking out of the park every time they bring out a new vehicle. All right, guys, so we're turning onto this road here, and like I said, the, the presence on this vehicle, it's a nice vehicle, and you can see that EcoBoost, when you get on it, the twin turbos kick in, 375 horsepower. You could pull 9,000 pounds with this vehicle. I'm telling you, it's really leading that whole class segment. And then on top of it, you're getting really great gas economy. I mean, 17 miles of the gallon in a car this size is very respectable, and I really, don't think that there's many other people that are doing that. And that's what that EcoBoost technology is doing. But like I said, going around turns, in stop and go traffic, switching lanes, it's really easy to do the 10 speed in this. Now, like I was talking about earlier, you might think, oh, 10 speed, you're gonna constantly feel shifting and, and all that kind of stuff. You don't. The 10 speed, it's like you don't even, it's like almost one big long continuous gear because it's that smooth. And I really am glad to see that Ford and General Motors, since they worked on it together, did their homework and made it so efficient, and yet it's so effortless, like it's not even there. So whether you're cruising around right now, I'm cruising at around 45 miles an hour, say you need to get on it and go, it drops down and you, you're you going. So that's what I really love about this SUV, is that it's taking care of everybody. You have the luxury, you have this wonderful interior. Remember, this is the limited edition. It's the Max, which is gonna have that extra length. So you're gonna have the nice features for everybody on the inside. If you're into power, you got plenty underneath the hood. You got the all-wheel drive. You need to go down a fire road or take it off-roading to go camping or whatever. Everybody's covered in this. And then at the end of the day, the kids are gonna be happy. You got the USB ports for all their devices. You got the wireless, you got 10 different devices you could run off of the Wi-Fi in this thing. I mean, it's it's unbelievable at the end of the day when you look at back in the 80s, all we had were a pencil and a piece of paper. That's how we kept ourselves entertained. Now you could do whatever you want. And that's the thing that makes this car so great. All right, guys. So it's been one hell of a day here at Walker Ford. I want to thank Walker for stepping up. I especially want to thank Tracy for getting this particular limited max edition one that has the all-wheel drive and this wonderful 
white platinum metallic paint job. It's a beautiful, beautiful expedition. I've showed you a lot of the things I love. I showed you some of the things that maybe Ford could improve upon, but I'm telling you, there's not much. You really have to squeeze that orange juice hard to get all the juice out of the orange because Ford has all the bases covered pretty much in this car. I really don't think that you could go wrong with uh, something like this uh, in your driveway. But anyways, I want to thank you guys for watching. If you have not hit subscribe yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and make it ring. Ring a ding ding. Hit the bell because guess what? That means you're going to get the instant notifications as soon as I post something. I've been posting things every single day and I have something for everybody. If there's something in particular that you would like to see on Ready's Rides, leave a comment in that comment section. You can visit my Instagram page. Also, you can visit my website, readysrides.com. You can send me a message directly through there. I want to thank my subscribers. I want to thank you for presently watching this. And like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.